sorry for the interruption. We'll get right into this episode. But first, I have a very quick and important message about your retirement. What will your savings in retirement look like once we've declared victory over the virus? Did you know that it took nearly eight years for the markets to recover after the 2008 housing bubble crash? Yet during the crash of 2008, gold and silver surged to all time highs. Do you really have eight years to wait for a recovery? Many Americans use this little known IRS qualified loophole that allows Americans to buy gold and silver with their retirement accounts. And the good guys at Orion Metal Exchange offer a no fee transfer in as little as two days on most accounts. Call today and request a free investment kit below. Mention Drone Tech Politics and get a free one ounce silver coin for qualified retirement account holders. Must be over 40 to qualify. Call 866-915 5053 and get your free investment guide today. At Orion, you get more precious metals for your money every day. Welcome back, everyone, to another soul sucking analysis of the corrupt institution once known as the Fourth Estate. Today, we're going to take a look at yesterday's coronavirus task force briefing and the hilarious exchange between President Trump and the CCP asset Weijia Zhang. Zhang has a long history of being a DNC mouthpiece. She once claimed that Trump lied when he accused Obama of funding Iran's military, even though this is a well-known documented fact. She's been a big defender of extremist Democrats like Elon Omar while attacking her critics. And as you may have guessed, she was very interested in hard-hitting questions about Brett Kavanaugh. But I couldn't find a single word spoken about her in regards to Joe Biden's Me Too accusations. She seems way more interested in lecturing and talking down to the President of the United States than during her job as a professional reporter. And let me just say that it's not tough questions that are the problem. It's this partisan political showboating masquerading is hard-hitting factual news. President, you have called on me. Yes, Thank I you. did. I appreciate it. Um, since you shared with us something else that you saw on TV today, I have a question about something you said on Thursday, which is that you were angry because information about the virus should have been told to us earlier and a lot sooner. People knew it was happening, and people did not want to talk about it. Right. Many Americans are saying the exact same thing about you, that you should have warned them the virus was spreading like wildfire through the month of February instead of holding rallies with thousands of people. Why did you wait so long who you to with? warn who, them? Who you with? And why did you yeah. uh, not have social distancing until March 16th? See, the very first thing she does is deflect from China's role in this virus spreading across the world and places the blame on Trump, just like the Democrat Party and China would probably prefer. First, she claims that Trump should have warned Americans sooner about the virus that was, quote, spreading like wildfire, taking attention off of China. The fact is, Trump was talking about this in January and instantly instituted a travel ban for Chinese foreign nationals, which is far more than any Democrat was doing at the time, and it was an action that the media attacked as racist. Many Americans are saying the exact same thing about you, that you should have warned them the virus was spreading like wildfire through the month of February instead of holding rallies with thousands of people. Oh, here we go with this old media trick. Many Americans have said that, have they? Well, many Americans say you're full of shit. What rallies is she talking about? Trump was actually the first one to cancel all of his rallies. The president had one rally on March the 2nd in North Carolina, then canceled the rest through April. You want to know who else had rallies in March? Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders. Bernie had one on March 7th and Joe had one on March 10th, both drawing thousands of people, but without any outrage or lecturing from the media. Why did you wait so long who are you to with? warn who, them? Who are you with? And why did you yeah. uh, not have social distancing until March 16th? Who are you with? I'm Weijia Jang with CBS News. So, if you look at what I did in terms of cutting off or banning China from coming in. Chinese nationals. But by the way, not Americans who are also nice and easy. China. Nice and easy. Just relax. Lady, that's the president of the United States you're talking down to. He was actually elected, unlike you. I swear, these people act like they're engaged in a Twitter battle. All she can think of is scoring political points and all the likes she's going to get when she posts this clip on Twitter. Yes, Trump only banned Chinese foreign nationals and not American citizens. This is yet another mind-numbing example of how the media will just take the opposite position of whatever Trump does. Can you even begin to imagine the national uproar from the media if Trump 
banned American citizens from coming home. Every single network would be running sob stories about how mean old racist Trump wasn't allowing American citizens to come home because they were of Asian descent and not white or some other nonsense. They would just paint him as a mad racist dictator drunk with power. Don't believe me? Just look at how the media reacted when Trump banned a cruise liner filled with American citizens from docking in the U.S. The president's desire to artificially keep the numbers low by keeping Americans who are off the coast out of the United States, is that desire impacting health decisions to help save these Americans who have coronavirus or who could possibly have it? And you don't want to get into politics, but can you assure the American people that decisions are not being made just because the president wants to keep the numbers low? They actually accuse him of keeping people from coming back to the country to reduce the number of people infected. <laughs> you these people are completely out of their minds the point is trump has been taking action since january and the media has criticized it every step of the way and now they act like he never took any actions at all we cut it off people were amazed these gentlemen everybody was amazed that i did it we had 21 people in a room everybody was against it but me dr fauci said had i not done that perhaps tens of thousands and maybe much more than that People would have died. I was very early, very, very early. And we just saw you saw Brett Baer making a statement. They had a debate well into February and not even mentioned. It wasn't even mentioned, the Democrats. The we were very early. Oh, I'm, I'm the people, president. And you know what I just did? So and you know what I just did? And by the way, when you issued the ban, the virus was already here. Okay. And you know how many people, when I issued the ban, how many cases of virus were in the United States when I issued the ban? Do you know the number? No, no. How many already. cases? Remember, I said one person. How many cases were here when I issued the ban? But Tell did me. you know? No, no, no. You have to do your research. How many? I did my research. On the 23rd of March, you said you knew this was going to be a pandemic. Can I tell you what? Well I did know it. I did know it. All I have to do is look. So you knew All, it anybody bad. knew it. Just are you ready? How many cases were in the United States when I did my ban? How many people had died in the United States? So do you that you didn't think Keep your voice down, please. Spread. Keep your voice down. Did you not? How many? How many? Spread? How many cases were in the United States? I did a ban, where I'm closing up the entire country. How many people died? And that's a fair point. How many people died in the United States? And yet I closed up the country, and I believe there were no deaths, zero deaths at the time I closed up the country. Nobody was there. And you should say thank you very much for good judgment. Okay, the virus was already here. Your point? We don't really know when it got here, thanks to the lies from China and the World Health Organization. How in the world is that Trump's fault? It's not as if Trump could have stopped the virus from entering the country when every country in the world is currently infected. Look, these are fake journalists, and they're just trying to score political points to better Democrats' chances in November. That's all for this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.